Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Pepwave Surf Soho and getting a closer look at the admin interface. For the Pepwave Surf Soho, your admin interface is at 192.168.50.1. Once you're there, you're going to fill in your username and password. Both of these default to admin, so once you have those typed in, you can go ahead and click login. From the home page, the first thing that's going to load is a section called WAN Connection Status. This tells us what internet connections we have active and what priority groups they are in. Currently, we have our hardwired Ethernet as WAN, and it is connected. Priority Group 2 is listed as Wi-Fi as WAN. Wi-Fi as WAN is a feature on the Soho where you can use an external Wi-Fi source as your internet. This is going to be used for campground RF, open Wi-Fi, or even your phone as a hotspot. The priority groups are also used as your failover preferences, so if we ever lose connection on WAN 1, priority 2, the Wi-Fi as WAN, will kick in and become our active internet connection. These WAN connections are all drag and drop, so if you click and drag one of the priorities and put it down to disabled, you can move that without having to click any buttons or go into any alternate menus. This is meant to save a lot of time and make things easy for you as the user. The other parts of the home page are your LAN interface, so it lists your router IP address, and it also has your Wi-Fi AP, that's your wireless network you've created and are broadcasting from your Soho. There's a drop-down menu where you can turn your wireless on and off, and if you click Details, it'll bring you to the page that gives you more information on your network. Currently, we have our one network set up, and it's secured with WPA2. Clicking on it gives us the Wi-Fi name. We can choose to enable this or broadcast the SSID, and it also has security settings as well as access control settings where we can filter out by MAC address. The other thing that's in the Wi-Fi settings is an add button. The add button will actually let you put up to three wireless networks off of your single surf Soho. This way if you're running this in the home or business you have different options available to you. The very last part of the home page is your device information. It just gives you the device name, the firmware build, your uptime, CPU load, and your current router throughput. The next tab over is in your network settings. Network settings will let you change things like your IP address. It has the default 50.1 address, but you can change it to whatever you want so you don't have conflicting pieces of hardware on your network. You also can change the port speeds, DHCP ranges, and some static routes. The other option you have is under WAN. WAN is going to be a mirror of what you had on the first page with the drag and drop. The other thing you can do from here is click on the Details tab, and it'll give you some information on health check settings to reset your connection in case of an outage, and you can also set up dynamic DNS hosting from here as well. The Surf Soho really gives you the freedom to configure your network in the best way for you. The Advanced tab is where you can get into more detail on your device. The Wi-Fi settings has options between internal or external antennas. The Surf Soho has two exterior antenna ports where you can place just about any Wi-Fi antenna, so if you need the additional range, a simple click in the interface will switch that over for you. You can also switch the type of protocol your Wi-Fi access point broadcasts, so if you have legacy devices that can't run on end, you can certainly lock it down, switch the Wi-Fi channel, and the output power. There is also a boost mode on the Surf Soho. You just need to make sure you check with your local regulations and make sure you can have that much power. One of the new features on the Surf Soho is called PEP VPN. PEP VPN is a way that you can create a virtual private network between your Surf Soho and higher end balance series routers. It is important to keep in mind this only works between other PEP Wave devices. However, that is part of what keeps the cost down on the Surf Soho. Port forwarding is also available so you can direct inbound traffic to different locations on your network. If you need more advanced routing, there are NAT mappings available. The other option you have is quality of service. This is going to let you define what type of application runs over your network and what priority it's assigned. This is going to be for setting up a specific type of service that you need to prioritize. We just set up video streaming there as high, so if your network is limited on resources, it will keep these running. There's firewall options on the Soho for both inbound and outbound rules. The other thing the Soho gives you is denial of service prevention. This way, if you're using it in the business, you don't have to worry about outside attacks. PPTP server is something that we're going to show in a separate video. Basically, it's one more way that you can set up a virtual private network. And of course, there is also service forwarding and service pass-through. Back at the top, underneath the System tab, you have a few more things. There's Security, where you can set up the name of your router as well as changing the default password. You can also configure what port your router listens on for web administration, and you can set it up for LAN or WAN access. And on the bottom, you can see which interfaces we have set up to respond to that WAN access port. 
This gives you just one more way that you can access your Surf Soho remotely. The other things you have access to are firmware. You can automatically check for firmware on Pepwave server or you can manually upload one that you've downloaded from them. There's a couple other features. A very cool one is In Control. In Control is a special management system that lets you remotely manage any of your Pepwave devices all at once from a single interface. This type of control is not found on any other consumer or home business routers in this class. There's of course also some network administration tools, ping, traceroute, and PEP VPN test. This way for network administration, you have a way to test your network. The final tab is under status. Basically, we'll give you the information on your device, the MAC addresses of each of your ports. You can look at active sessions to see what specific type of traffic is passing over your network. Client list will let you show exactly what's connected. So on the top it says there is one thing connected via Wi-Fi. There is a second device, but it's currently disconnected. So this is a good way that you can manage all of your connected clients. Obviously, PEP VPN status and event log. The bandwidth tools down at the bottom, we actually get a little bit more in-depth in another one of our videos. For more information, visit 3gstore.com slash surfsoho. And for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.